Tony Trabert, our Daily Davis Cup captain, has the winner, Bjorn Borg, and the runner up, Jimmy Connors, down on the court right now. So let's go down. You got it, Captain? Thank you very much, Pat. And ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to talk to two great champions. Jimmy Connors, our runner up here for the third straight year, and Bjorn Borg, our champion, who is three time Wimbledon champion, also three time Grand Slam champion. Bjorn, congratulations. Thank you, Tony. Have you ever played a better tennis match than you did today? No, I think probably it was uh, one of my best matches. I felt, felt very good out there, and I think I was moving very well. I always come, come right to the ball, and uh, I think I always was one step ahead of maybe Jimmy. That, maybe that's why I was playing so well today. Jimmy, how about your analysis of the match in general? Well, I, I just kept playing my normal game, and uh, Bjorn hits the ball very short and you know, with a lot of top spin, so I just kept coming in and hitting the approach shot. I think maybe... Uh, yeah, I could have maybe done a little bit more with my approach shots at times, but uh, I wasn't going to stay back and, and and play a different kind of game to stay back and you know, just poop the ball back. That's not my style. It's never been my style. So uh, I enjoy playing the way that I was taught, and uh, that's the way I played today. Well, uh, the way you were taught has been awfully good. Your record's been, <laughs> it's been super, but um, I was saying to Bjorn, uh, he played well. He made very few errors, and he also stole a few. What about those two-handers he picked off at the net? Stole a few. He got, uh, you know, I... Maybe should have held the ball a little bit longer and let him move a little bit before I hit. Uh, when you're going, you're going, you know. And uh, uh, he got to a lot of balls that uh, you know, I ripped a few, and he just stuck his racket out and poked them back and hit them pretty firm, actually, at times. So uh, yeah, he played very well today. In retrospect, what would you do differently if you could do it all over again today? Well, <laughs> my game was my game, Tony, you know, and. Uh, um, I would probably just uh, do a little bit more with my approach shots and. and uh, maybe try to see the ball a little bit better on the short ones and, and move in a little bit quicker, I think, on the short ones. But outside of that, I thought I hit the ball quite firm. Bjorn, uh, how about your feelings about, about the match? I know your game plan is basically the same. Keep it going, let them come in and try to make the passing right. shot. Yeah, that's your uh, strategy on play, to keep the ball in play and uh, try to keep the good depth on the ball. And, you know, my game is to, to play from the baseline and hit a lot of rallies. So that's... I've grown up in these kind of surfaces in Europe, and th that's the way I'm playing. And uh, I think what Jimmy said, he, he might was missing a lot of approach shots today, but I think I was uh, passing very well from four and back. I make a lot of good passing shots. I would say that's a fair assumption. Uh, Jimmy, when you're coming in against a fellow like Borg, uh, do you think perhaps you or anyone else might press a little bit on the, on the approach shot, knowing that he does pass so well? I think a lot of players do. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm pressing too much. I think that, you know, I should just, uh, uh, it's not whether you're trying to make them too good at times. You know, you're staying back and you're working for the sharp ball. And uh, my whole game has been, since I've been playing, was to wait for the sharp one and go ahead and go for it, you know, and uh, and come in and try to make the volley. But uh, like Bjorn said, he, he uh, hit a lot of good passing shots uh, off both sides today. So, uh, you know, so this time was one time, tomorrow's another time. You know, we've played a lot of great matches between the two of us, and we're going to play a lot more great matches as, uh, as our careers go on. So this was a good one today for him. Maybe tomorrow's a good one for me. So I'm working at it. Well, we know that Bjorn said that in, in his speech, that you will be playing many times against one another. And as he said, maybe next time you'll come out the victor. Let me just go back a little bit. Uh, I was not uh, fortunate enough to see your match at Wimbledon, but your tactics, are they the same on grass as they would be here? Well, it's a com completely different game, completely different surface. Grass is uh, much faster than this one. I mean, here you can stay and maybe have, have a rally for 15, 20 times. And grass is it's very difficult because the bounce is very low and sometimes the grass is very bad to win. It's two completely different games. There's no way you can compare them. So you attack more, you come in more behind your serve? Yeah, on grass I will have to play a little bit more aggressive than I do on play, for sure. And of course, Jimmy, for you, you're going to be coming in uh, all the time on a grass court. Well, I didn't at Wimbledon. <laughs> Maybe if I, uh, I thought I, at Wimbledon I should have attacked a lot more, I'd stay back and we'd hit some balls and Bjorn would hit the top spin short again and, and uh, I wouldn't take advantage of it. Maybe two or three times a point I had a chance to come in, but uh, during the summer, I worked on it, and, and, and by the time the Flushing Meadows came around, when he hit the short one, I would take it and come in, and, and that's basically my game anyway, is to, uh, is to attack, and uh, once the ball is short, then you know, I'm going to come in. Okay, Jimmy, thanks very much to you, and Bjorn, thank you for your kindness, and now let's go back to Pat Summerall. And thank you very much, Tony. Thank you very much, Jimmy, and thank you very much, the champion, Bjorn Borg. Those are the scores. As